Do you mind if I make it like dirty, dirty? Let's make it as dirty yeah. as possible. <laughs> the only thing it is expensive on is calories. Yeah, but man. we don't care. We don't, yeah. If you don't like that, I don't know what to say because that is amazing. Everyone, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Joey and Derek. We're doing this, uh, <laughs> like the name. It's uh, for for the Uncovered series. I thought I was showing you the problem with animal agriculture, and we thought we'd get get in the big guns to help us with the solution, which is something else to eat other than the bodies of harmed animals. So, what do you got for us today, Derek? Thanks for having me on again, Joey. Appreciate oh, it. Love it. Welcome to Joey's Wicked Kitchen. That's what I like to say there. Oh. <laughs> so today we're going to do a chicken parmesan sandwich. Oh. And it's super, super easy, man. We're gonna use the Plant Chef, uh, and I can't read. So these are the, panko, the new ones, the panko crusted. So we have the southern fillets, and then just the panko crusted fillets. So Amazing. It's a, more of a plain flavor to go with the Italian style. And this is the Plant Chef range from Tesco, and yep. you're in charge of innovations, vegan innovations there. I am. In fact, look, let me get my. He's so even got his signature. Check <laughs> it out. It's on there. See, so I told you, we're with, we're with the big guns for this. Because and I bought which was great. So I was shopping for the shows today And then I don't know how many people I'm sure you knew this but the finest garlic bread is vegan Wow Tesco. Well, there we so go. I was gonna use regular bread, but why not and make garlic bread? But why? A ciabatta. So yeah. if people don't have access to Tesco and plant chef, yes. they can find another brand they can find, there's plenty of breaded chicken alternatives out there, plant-based alternatives. In any yeah. country, I've seen oh. plenty. In Australia, they got the Fry's brand. Yeah. I'm not familiar with the US, but you probably know there's yeah, a I'm bunch not, of good... I'm more familiar with here because yeah. I've been here the last five years. Okay. But <laughs> there's yeah. plenty of, of alternatives, just use... And if people want to make a garlic parsley ciabatta, it's pretty straightforward, eh? That's pretty easy. If you can't buy this, I would just take a little bit of the vegan butter, some fresh chopped garlic, just mix it up and spread it on there. Nice. Really, only four ingredients for this recipe, for the most part. We have the Plant Chef chicken, so we have two. We have the ciabatta, or garlic bread if you make that, with the vegan butter. I have a jar of tomato sauce, whatever kind of tomato sauce you like. I don't know of any that aren't vegan, as far as no. tomato sauces go. So any kind of your favorite tomato sauce, and then Vegan cheese. So today I have uh, the Folly Heart Smoked Gouda. I don't. I would normally use a mozzarella for this. I just yeah. didn't. I didn't have it. Yeah. Sorry. So we'll use this. The use your gouda. favorite vegan cheese because exactly. everyone's got different tastes for vegan cheese. I find they're they're so vastly exactly. different in exactly. texture and taste. Or you can make your own. Sometimes I'll take cauliflower and you poach it off and then whip it up with some garlic and that can be as an active uh, cheese. And a little bit of nu nutritional yeast. Have you got it's, any B-roll of that? Can we flash it up I, on the screen? Derek's <laughs> cheesy sauce. I have plenty on, on my on my channels. I show how to yeah. make all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do? This is super super simple. I'm gonna start off the plant chef on the stove top here, a little pan fry. Will you open this for me? Of course, the, yeah. The garlic bread, and just pop it on here, and we'll pop this in the oven. So I always keep the oven on 200 degrees Celsius on fan, and uh, that's what I tend to cook on. It gives you the nice even heat that you're looking for, yeah? Yeah, and I like the hot flash heat, so that's, yeah, that's good. So the directions on here is like eight minutes, so while we're cooking this, this will heat up. So by now you've probably seen me in a bunch of different farms, uh, particularly chickens. You've seen me in the um, parent breeder sheds, which are the mums and dads of the chicks that are off to barns to be raised and eaten. And that was pretty horrific in there, you know, the, the mums and dads fertilizing the eggs and, you know, just it was just horrible. If you've seen the video, you can go check it out. Chickens are one of the most eaten, they are the most eaten they land are. animal. They are. So people decide, oh, I'm not going to eat beef anymore, they go right to chicken. And more animals end up being killed because there's more beings for less flesh. And they're, they're predominantly factory farms, aren't they? Like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's I mean, over 95% in the UK, 99% uh, in the US. And, you know, like, so these birds are living in horrible conditions. That's why I go for the vegan chicken alternatives for sure. And it's, they're so delicious these days, it's amazing. I mean, there's no shortage of chicken replacers. No, <laughs> I think plenty. actually, yeah, it's almost from my perspective, we just need more great that great replacements, you know, that take, always leave with flavor. These taste amazing and it's super simple and super affordable. So what Tesco's done is make it so it's a very easy swap and sometimes even less than meat. It's equivalent to chicken products or less than. Yeah, I think they're doing great there at Tesco. You're doing a good job. 
So, all right, we got the pin nice and warm. Take these, put them in. Just a quick sear. So normally you can just put, you, it's so easy, you can just pop this in the oven, but Joey's here, I'm gonna do it a little special. We're gonna sear it off a little bit here. And then pop I like it in to the oven. smell that sizzle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's not often I get a star animal rights activist in the house, so I'm, at, hey, I'm oh, excited. This is a mate. moment for me. So this is good. I mean, this is so easy that we're just gonna talk a lot. <laughs> well, you've got a bunch of like little oh, products, products around yeah, here. Yeah, like, I can, I can see here you've got. Oh, the easy one, yeah. So that's an America. You've got the late night. These are these are, are these released. This one's in America. So uh, we're in we're in Kroger stores in America and okay. Sprouts Farmers Markets in America. The paella. One. Yeah, the veggie paella. Check it. Check it out. You got heaps out. of cooks. Sorry, I'm just gonna pull these out so people can see. <laughs> Cinnamon porridge. Oh, and also the flavored nooch. Yeah, that's um, amazing. There's also a barbecue one somewhere around. Chili mac. <laughs> that's just a lot. So if you see the Wicked Range, Did you see this over is Derek, here. Derek and Chad. What, yeah, what, what's up with Chad? Chad's in Austin, Texas. Oh, really? He runs uh, Good Catch Foods. Have you heard of that? No. So Good Catch is the tuna replacement. The seafood, alternative plant-based seafood. Oh, wow. We're in, in fact, we're launching three lines into Tesco in a couple weeks here. The new crab cakes, uh, fish fingers, and there's one, a uh, fish burger, which is amazing. Oh, damn. And Chad's actually your brother. Chad is my brother. Wow. Yeah. So two brothers uh, taking over the vegan food. Have we got to chuck that back? Yeah, and then behind you when you want sweet stuff, but we'll show that a little bit later. Oh, yeah, we're going to show you some sweet, succulent, Desserts uh, in the next episode, but okay. Right, so look, at that look at that crunch. Doesn't that, doesn't that look great? These are perfect for dinner. Yes, but I like sandwiches because I'm an easier. I'm yeah. triple like you. Give me a couple pieces of bun, you know, butter, yeah. and I'll make a sandwich and eat two of these. And oh, I, and dude, go. I was having the southern fried ones like every day for lunch, man. They are yeah, so, good, so eh? good. I love it when it's just finished hot and just whatever sauce you have, barbecue, it's, it's amazing with barbecue sauce. Sriracha, I like mine super spicy. Have you ever buffaloed them? Just take like Frank's Red Hot, a little bit of vegan butter, melt it and then toss that on here. Oh, I mean, there's so many ways we could show how to do this. So, uh -huh. because we're gonna do the Parmesan, I'm just gonna, a little bit on top here. Ah. Uh, yeah. A little bit. The Parmesan, you know, if you're in Australia, anyone who goes to the pub in Australia, they serve chicken schnitzel parmigianas and exactly like this so that I mean this is more this is an Italian dish but Australians yeah. have kind of taken it it's like a pub dish over there in Australia all my Australian friends watching look at that I gotta get over there man I haven't <clears throat> been there yet I'm looking forward to it yeah it's going good actually for vegan stuff over there so yeah, yeah they're doing well so just like that and I'll pop this in the oven simple and tasty so if we timed it correctly eight to 10 minutes for that garlic bread. Same, so by that time that's done, the chicken will be done and we just put it, to, it's like the easiest, fastest meal you no can No excuses, can make. convenient. Exactly. Easy, come Four on. ingredients. So we'll be back in a minute and pull it out of the oven for you. You ready? Come on, mate. Give I me that. Give me I that. Give that. Give that. I give up. I punch. I give up. <laughs> All right, we're back. I'm gonna pull out the oven. It's been less than 10 minutes. Joey and I just been fooling around. It's the great reveal. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. I mean, the bread. We know that's gonna taste delicious. Look at the ciabatta. Right, it looks amazing. And then we get the awesome. Do you mind if I make it like dirty, dirty? Let's make it as dirty yeah, as possible. <laughs> make it dirty. I like things super indulgent, especially, especially when I have guests over, you know? I might cook a little bit healthier when it's just me, but when I have the legend Joey Carbs. I don't believe house. you, Derek. I think you're just as dirty behind closed doors. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of this uh, garlic and onion caramelized mayo. Oh, yum, I haven't tried this one. And let's just say, like, people can flavor up. Let's just say they got a vegan mayo, it's not the wicked flavored. They yeah, can yeah. probably flavor with their own. There's so many different vegan flavored mayos out there wow. in America or in the UK. But if you don't, I would just get any vegan mayo. You know, vegan A's is really popular in the US. Um, Hellman's even does one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't have like, if you have a plain one, I would just add a little bit of sprinkle of the garlic granulars yeah. or honey granular for flavor. The bacon one's a little bit more difficult, maybe a little bit of smoked paprika, touch of maple syrup, mm -hmm. just a little to give it that smoky, mm. bacony flavor, you know? Get creative in the kitchen, guys. And yeah, girls. so I'm just gonna add this, so I'm adding mayo. I know we have the sauce on the, on the... Look at it. Yeah, this will add that nice extra, I know there's butter on the bread, but it's just, uh, 
so many different build. It's all for me. It's all about the building of flavors. The layers. Yeah, the, the layers exactly. Mm -hmm. Like an onion, buddy. Wow. Right you tell me that doesn't look amazing. It's so good. That's, that's just a fat this sandwich. Is... <laughs> okay, ready for the sexy shot? Right there, man. That's it. Right oh. there. Special knife for this one. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Derek, you can come over and cut my sandwich anytime, mate. <laughs> and it's uh... awesome. Precision. Look at that. I mean, it's relatively super inexpensive. It's like a two chicken breasts, one thing of bread, a little bit of tomato sauce that you can use the extras for whatever you want later and a couple of pieces of cheese. The only thing it is expensive on is calories. Yeah, but we don't care. We don't, yeah, we don't care. <laughs> Let's give it a crack, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Let's get Jimmy over here first. You know Jimmy what? the sound guy. Very good point. <laughs> Let's get Jimmy. I think the first person to give it a crack should be Jimmy the, Jimmy sound, the sound guy's guy. food reviews. Jimmy Let's come sound. up. We should call this Jimmy the sound guy's cooking show. Well, you know, <laughs> Jimmy isn't vegan, so we need to get exactly. him to... Of course, we're going to tell you it's good. Exactly. You know, but we need Jimmy again? Jimmy to tell us. All right, so me first? Yeah, yeah of course. Oh, okay, come on. I cannot wait. Grab a piece. Yeah. This might be a little hot, Jimmy. Oh, look at that. Oh. That looks good, yeah. It's amazing. I mean, you know, it's, I know it's going to taste good. We mm. need it's got that butter in there, the garlic, that crispy crust on the plant chef. Dude. And it's hot. Mm. Look at it steaming. Mm. How can you how can you not like that? That's the best reaction we've got off of him, exactly. I think. Exactly. It keeps going. All the flavor is amazing. Mm. That's good, yeah? I don't miss chicken. This you is, wouldn't miss chicken? I wouldn't miss chicken, no. Wow. No, well there we go. You can oh, take, you take that back with you, you can finish that. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that it's one. good? Yeah, Amazing. sure, man. Thanks, there you man. go, Jimmy. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Jimmy. And, and Jimmy knows his stuff, too. So. Jimmy used to be a chef for 17 years, you were saying go. earlier. And there you go. Good stuff. Frankie, come on out of the way. Come on. Come. Wait, come. wait, wait, wait. Let me film Frankie. Come here, Frankie. There you go, Frankie. Frank, oh. we, got, we got to pay the Frankie tax. You've been waiting so patiently there, haven't you, Frankie? Oh dear, <laughs> do you like that? Frankie loves the attention. All right, Jimmy, now it's your turn. Frankie. Oh, okay. Just gotta do the smell. It's good, yeah? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Dude. This like garlic bread. It really brings it together with that whole, it's so good. That's an vegan Italian sub extraordinaire. Yeah, that's delicious. I'd serve that in a restaurant. Mm. All right, I shouldn't eat too much anymore. Mm. I'll eat the rest of it after. <laughs> you don't like that, I don't know what to say. You must have had your taste buds singed off or something because that is amazing. Yeah, mm. super simple, super easy. Simple, easy, tasty, delicious, and no animals harmed for this one. No animals, that's what we're all about. So, plant-based all the way. Amazing work, Derek. Thanks for making this amazing chicken-free recipe. Thanks, and, man. Uh, you can find more of our recipes on the Wicked Healthy YouTube. Yeah. You obviously know what Joey does. Joey's doing amazing work. Uh, but if you want any more substitutes, it's either that or uh, Derek Sarno on Instagram, Wicked Kitchen Food. And there you go. You can find him and more amazing recipes. And uh, we'll see you in the next uh, Cooking with Derek and Joey. Let's do it. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. Cheers.